technology, Moscow has insisted on agreements to secure Russian intellectual property on board the Su-35. In previous years, the Chinese reverse-engineered older versions of the flanker into the Shenyang J-11, J-15 and J-16 series of aircraft. We established a Russian-Chinese working group for the purposes of practical implementation of this agreement, which held a regular meeting in September this year, Drozdzhov said. Despite whatever agreement Beijing might have signed with Moscow, the Chinese are almost certainly interested in the Su-35 to harvest its technology. While the current configuration of the J-20 externally resembles a genuine fifth-generation fighter in several respects, China remains woefully lacking in engine and mission systems avionics technology. The Su-35's Saturn AL-41F1S afterburning turbofans, Tykhomirov Nipper by C phased array radar and electronic warfare suite are likely of high interest to Beijing. Indeed, China has not perfected its indigenous WS-10 for its flanker clones, let alone come close to finishing development of the next generation WS-15 it would need for the J-20. The WS-15 is currently thought to be in a ground testing phase with flight trials set to begin on the Niloshi Neil 76 sometime in the future. In fact, China has not demonstrated it can build any reliable jet engine, and that's including designs that it basically stole from Russia. Indeed, the J-20 currently appears to be powered by twin Russian-built Saturn AL-31F engines found on the Sukhoi Su-27 and its many Chinese knockoffs. The addition of the Russian-built AL-41F1S series engines might provide a solution to Beijing's engine woes. There are indications that the J-20 carries an active electronically scanned array radar, ASA. Allegedly, the J-20 would be fitted with a Type 1475, also referred to as the KLJ-5 radar, which is supposedly being tested on a China test flight establishment owned Tapo left 204. However, there is no way to confirm that information because the PLAF isn't all that forthcoming about sharing information concerning its developmental projects. However, Russian radar technology is generally believed to be ahead of China's and it is certainly possible Beijing could glean valuable technical insights from the Urbi Sea. The one advantage the Chinese have over the Russians is in the realm of electro-optical-slash-infrared targeting systems, where Moscow has lagged behind in the wake of the post-Soviet economic meltdown of the 1990s. Indeed, the J-20 does appear to have an electro-optical targeting system, EOTS, mounted under the nose, which could be the Beijing A-Star Science and Technology EOTS 89. But there is no publicly, unreliable, data available about the performance of that sensor.